This is Chatsy Trousy with two Georgia's Part Design Adventure Viewer here, and today we're going to do a character talk part two about Jin Kazama in Tekken 7. This is what happened. Jin naturally kind of like exploded a helicopter with his laser beam. He actually turned into Double G naturally. And actually, Jin is actually in the desert, and you can see him walking, walking. He's walking. But Jin. Jin doesn't know, because sometimes he's in his devil gene, he doesn't remember anything because of his devil gene. And also, by the way, how is he not tired of walking? Of course, by the way, when he's walking, you're trying to get him, take him back in and stuff. But then Jin kind of, he looks like he's tired, but then he released amount of laser beam and then it went everywhere. And Jin went to the Middle East market, he's like in India I guess. And this tells us Jin is so tired of walking. He been walking over here, he has no idea where he was. He's like, what am I doing here? And he looks like he's about to pass out, as you can tell he looks like he's about to pass out in this scene. But then when Jin is trying to get up, frantically trying to leave, Lars his uncle, his half uncle, actually rescued Jin. And then these guys are gonna take Jin back in. But Lars is like, nope, I need him for something. He needs him for something, and I'll tell you about that later. So this is the part when Lars saves Jin, and then, of course, Ka I mean, Heihachi wants Jin as well. And then Jin passes out. And then, um, Jin passes out. Meaning he's in a coma right now. You can see Lars is taking Jin out of here, this place. Then these guys are trying to take Jin back in, and Lars has his gun. And then they leave and stuff, and yeah. Jin is in a coma, actually. The first gets Jin out of this mess, actually. So by the end of Tekken 7, Jin actually recovers from his coma. Good God, because I was a little worried about him because. He was not playable the entire story. He was a supported character in the Mishima Saga, which yes, that's Kazuya's son after all. For Jin now, what's his goal now? He doesn't have goals, but in Tekken 7, at the end, Lars is going to use Jin to get to Kazuya and finally kill Kazuya. Actually, I'm a little happy because now Kazuya could be the antagonist and Jin could be the protagonist again for Tekken 8, which is good. Either way, the ending tells us that Jin shows up, he shows up at the end of Tekken 7, and Jin now can finally control his devil gene. This may be now you can control it because you couldn't control it years ago. Alright, it's Chatsy Self 22 signing off.